just like a turpin! Oh my god! Boom! Boom! No. Oh my god! Robert! I got one too! <laughs> what happened? The fish just jumped in the boat. That means we're in a good spot, y'all. He, vo he volunteered himself to be bait. Don't stick your finger in his mouth. <laughs> what, is, what is that? Reptile bait. <laughs> Reptile bait. Wow. Wow, that's beautiful. He literally just, we stopped to like throw some lures and the fish jumps in the boat. That's a good, that's an ominously good sign. We'll call this the red tail bait hole. Another one just jumped in the boat. That's definitely, you, are you kidding me? The bait's just jumping in the boat. It's Hook just, that thing on and throw them out there. Look at that. No. Oh my God. Robert. I got something big. I don't know. It looks like dinner. Basha. <laughs> Basha. Basha? Yeah. Basha. We just stopped the fish for a second. A bait jumped in the boat, volunteered himself. I sent it down and caught a fish immediately. You know what they call that? Lunch. This man is my best friend. He just grabbed a rock and it's tying a rope around it so we can use it as an anchor. In the meantime, I'm rigging up something. When we were at fishing headquarters, I saw these little white jigs and Aubrey, my brother, Brito Mas Grande, he said, Robert, bring white jigs. He said in Venezuela, they cross fish on it. I think this is gonna work. Pretty deep hole. Hey, they shot that little fish with a bow and arrow. Now I'm gonna tip it with a on a white jig and just drop it down. Oh yes, this is gonna work perfect. Check my drag. Get to the bottom. Find bottom. My goal is to let this jig hit the bottom boom, boom, and bounce. Boom, boom. There's bottom right there. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What y'all want? What y'all know about that? Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> oh my God! I'm the white jig. Look at this! It's a big old pyara! <laughs> no way! <laughs> Look at this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, I'll get him. Look, wait till you see the teeth on this rascal. Look at that. Look at that. Incredible, man. We've been traveling for about 10 miles. We decided to stop and fish for a minute and Oh, here comes our boats. There goes all our, our cargo and supplies. Oh my God, I just got nailed on the way down. Holy smokes. <laughs> on the way down, the fresh bait for the win. Feels like another big piranha. Ooh, look, at look at this size piranha. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Look at, wait till you see the freaking chompers on this rascal. Now, dude, I do not want to lose my 
stinking hook. Hold on. Look at that. That's a monster, bro. That was cool. We stopped, caught a payara, some other kind of silverfish, piranha, and now we keep moving. This is basically what we're gonna do all day long. Just stop, fish, move, fish, move, fish, move. Bob and I are nine years old again right now. That's a fact. <laughs> He's taking everything out of this box that I can catch fish on. No, no, no. He's, just leave me a stick. I'll still catch him on a stick. <laughs> I want to make sure I don't leave you too much artillery. There. I'm coming back if I need more. Perfect. That's our only, we don't have another box of... You don't want to take more? You should take Look, some Look, clown, you already got more than me. You need a, you need a better variety, I think. Right now, we are on the Rewa River down in Guyana. You want to bring a good tackle box, an assortment of lures, hooks, leader, and make sure you bring wire because basically everything here has teeth and will cut you off. And there are no stores. So I got two 4,000 old salties, one with a like a crankbait like this Yozuri, the other with a little top water. I always start off with the top water and try to get a few bites, then you move to the diver. Oh, one cast. Oh. <laughs> oh, almost lost my sunglasses. So we know what they want. Oh my gosh, one cast and we're tight, dude. This place is like Jurassic Park if you're a fisherman. Oh my gosh, this thing's massive. He's got me hung on this rock over here. Always have some good boots so you don't kill yourself running on these rocks. Oh, did you see that fish? What an amazing fish, you guys. I literally walk out on the rock, make one cast, and had a big one on. Let's see if we can do that again. That's that little Yozuri buzz bait looking thing. Anything, oh, look at the swirl. Hold your phone. Watch. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. What a fish. Look, it's like a tarpon.
That's the biggest pyara I've ever seen. Yes, it is a big one. I want to keep him down. I don't want him to jump. Just lost him right there. I kept feeling the hook like, oh! <laughs> la, 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 la. That was the biggest pyra I've ever seen. It literally was jump, jumping like a tarpon, just like Pow! I have one more of those lures. Good Lord. If you're wondering why I'm not wearing my rain jacket, because it's covering up the camera. Hey, even in the rain, baby, I ain't scared to have fun. Dude, you see that? I didn't think he was that big. Come here, buddy. Come here. Look at the teeth on that rascal. Are you joking me? Go, go, go. Off he goes. Oh, God, another huge one. Another big one he's got. Oh, look at this. You know what they say, man. We're just out here in the rain, acting like kids. <laughs> Woo, that was awesome. Look at him right here. I know this isn't a common fish to see caught, but that is a monster. Not as big as the one I lost, but it is a monster nonetheless. Here he goes. You start off with the top water, you move to a crankbait, and you're constantly fishing different rocks. Even though we're in the middle of the most remote river I've ever seen, these fish still get smart. 
get a few bites, move, 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 move. And you'll have different fish set up on different ambush points. This is that croaker or basha as they call it. First thing we're gonna do is just scale it all. So we just got all the scales off this fish and we're gonna cook the entire fish. But first, we wanna come in here like this, use my old trusty silver stag fillet knife. It's brand new, first fish it's ever cleaned. Look at the meat, this is like a jungle redfish. Look how beautiful that meat is. I'm chumming them up for you, brother. Holy cow, you got a... Bicuda. Yeah, Bicuda. It's what we call a target-rich environment around here, y'all. And now, we've got the two fillets and we've got this fish. It's got all this meat up in the collar, in the neck, on the backbone. The entire fish is gonna be eaten. They're gonna make this into soup and that into fried fish. So this is what I simply cannot explain properly. We are the farthest into any rainforest jungle I've ever been in my life. And we've got a lady waiting on us and all these boys taking care of us. If you come to my camp, you're gonna eat on paper plates. Here, you got silverware, plates, fried fish, pasta, buttered noodles, cassava, purple cabbage, and we got lemonade, fresh squeezed. The rain has subsided and we just got back to our favorite pyara hole. If you come down here, make sure you have pliers, a good tackle box. Um, I would bring a lot more of these things right here. I would bring a variety of jigs because man, we had so much fun with that. Bring a bunch of hooks. The circle hooks have really, really worked well. And then have a, a wide variety of top water, crankbaits. There's my daggum pliers I've been looking for. Leader and wire. I would suggest bringing number seven wire. Bring plenty of it too. But uh. Let's see if we can catch another big one because that first one I had that broke me off was massive. When you cast and hook one up like that, all of a sudden those get locked off. So then you just cast to these rocks out here. It's totally different fish. Look at the swirl. Got him. Oh man. Look how awesome those fish are. Incredible, man. Absolutely crazy fish. Nuts. I like to keep them in the water, right like this, because you want to get them, get them caught, get them released as fast as possible. Come here, buddy. When you're landing these fish, you can grab them by the tail here, but be careful because they'll come back with them teeth. Try to keep their head in the water. Just like that. Pyara, baby, the vampire fish. This is incredible. All I can tell you is this entire trip thus far has been one of the most amazing experiences of my life. I gotta give a huge shout out to everybody at Rewa. Rovin, Adrian, Nelson, all the guys, all the girls, everybody that make up this eco lodge and protect this river. They're wonderful human beings. If you've been enjoying the series, please subscribe to the channel, follow along.
Leave us a comment and let, let us know what you think. Tell us what you want to see us catch, what you want to see us do. And drop a thumbs up if you've really enjoyed it. I miss my family, but I'm having the time of my life. Thank you so much for watching, but that's all I got for today. Take care, God bless. We're gone, but we will be back.